I fear you are underestimating the sneakiness. Name the film. What film was that from? Uh, right, here we go. So, I, excuse me, uh, I said I was just coming out to the shed for a quick uh, blast on a, an RBA and have some serious cloudage and that I would be back in 10 minutes time. So I don't have long. Uh, also, Mum, sorry, I know that I never shaved properly today and um, and I've been out in the rain, so that's why I look like... Anyway, you don't care about any of that. Good evening. Welcome to another shit vlog from a shed. It is... Uh, thankfully, there's hardly anybody here, which is just as well. Uh, but this was since... I, I had planned to have a review up today, but... Um, meh. Um, yeah. Anyway... Uh, hello to everybody that's here in chat. Uh, hello to everybody that arrives after I feck off back into the house. Uh, but um, I, there's lots, the, the usual names are here. Um, the usual names are here. Uh, Birdcage. It wasn't Birdcage. Mr. Deeds. Mr. Deeds. How could you, how, how could you get that wrong? How could you get that wrong? Uh, actually, I've not seen Birdcage in a couple of decades, so I can't, it might have been in there, but Mr. Deeds is where I remember it from. Um, get that beard off or get tattoos. <laughs> uh, right. Um, yes, so this is just a very, very quick one. Obviously because there's a very, very big vape show that does a live on a Saturday night. Um, and I don't want to, you know, cross over into their territory because they're a big deal. Uh, they're very small people, but they're a big deal. Um, and anyway, uh, right. Uh, this is just to let you know what's going on. Um, <coughs> currently, <coughs> I am dying because I've just swallowed something. Yes, Paul, um, that show is pretty shite, to be fair. It is pretty shite. Um, actually, who's the famous guest for tonight? Do we know? Do we know? Do we know? Anyway. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's do this. Let's put a light on. Uh, I'm just going to show you ran randomly some stuff uh, that's that's been in. But um, today, uh, I was watching the Vapor Bay UK uh, live stream that they do um, and I I won a, a live bid thing you say how much you want to pay for something and if you do the highest bid you get to buy it for that price and I got some juice uh, I got some uh, what did we get we got some stuff I've had before uh, JMA or JMA uh, I got some fried ice cream which uh, I have had before several times I sometimes find it's a little bit heavy on the cinnamon, but uh, I do enjoy it. Uh, also, their vanilla custard, which is... It's its not dirty enough for me. I mean, I, I really like dirty vanilla... This colour. This dirty. This is how dirty it should be. Um, this, this is just... It's just... It's, see the difference? that That's how I normally like my vanilla custard. Um, but I still enjoy it from time to time and um, anyway sometimes I mix it in with other stuff as well that's not very complimentary but uh, there you go that's just the way I roll uh, and I also got this uh, blueberry ice cream from them as well um, and it's really weird because it smells of blueberry ice cream it smells it smells great um, now, I haven't steeped this or anything, and I wouldn't imagine it needs that much of the way in the steeping. Is there a date in it at all? If it's from Vaporbay, it's probably out of date anyway. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm talking about their biscuits. Uh, but I've got it in a squonker here just now, and... It's actually quite subtle. 
which is no bad thing uh, because and you know a lot of modern flavors or I find modern flavors are overpowering uh, this is this is quite a subtle subtle one and, I, and I'm kind of enjoying it anyway um I've not had the strawberry crunch I don't think I've had the strawberry crunch Eddie uh, did they use a macro lens to shoot that show chicken <laughs> The blueberry ice cream does get better with a bit of time. Good, uh, because it's, like I say, it smells. But that used to be the same with just, was it just jam. Just jam used to smell to die for in the bottle. But then, unless you were vaping it at a gazillion watts and a 30ml RDA, uh, that you just never got the, that f the same as the smell from it. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. Um... And yes, squonking's coming back and squonking is the future. Somebody said that at some point in time. Anyway, uh, let, let's just show you some other stuff, okay? Let's, uh, can I move this? Uh, move you there. And um, now I'm far away. Now I'm close. Uh, let's do some up close stuff. Uh, boom. Um, if you want to call me names without offending me, now is the time to do it because I can't see the screen. Uh, so, we had some juices. Uh, first thing I want to, to mention is that... Um, yes, the Sturdy. Uh, Sturdy RBA, this is uh, batch 2 this is from. Um, I, I think this is superb. Yes, I, I got one with Shed Life on it, okay? So, obviously, you're going to say, well, he's just been a bit biased because he didn't pay anything for that. Um... And, and you're quite within your rights to say that. I'm now running two. I've got one in my, using my dot mod. I just took the coil out before I started this. And one in a borrow mod, a uh, borrow tank. And in my humble opinion, this is a banger. Uh, th th this is a really, really good RBA. I put it up there with, I have favourite RBAs, shall we say. But... That's for different reasons, not just because they may... That, that can be who made it, how it looks, many different factors. But I will say, there's one RBA that I do... Somebody asked me, what RBA would you recommend? I'm getting into RBAs. I used to suggest the Cloud, the Cloud RBA, because I always thought that was... I still have mine. I think it's a fantastic RBA, and it's great for starting out with RBAs. I put the Sturdy up there as well, um, in with the cloud. Uh, and because it does both dot and it does borrow. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm two thumbs up, two thumbs up on that. Uh, I, I, re I really, really, really do like it. Uh, okay, what what else? Um, right, have I got any lip gunk on the go here? This, uh, these were, I was going to record the review for them. I've actually just cleaned them down um, and I was going to do the review for them, but um, I've decided that I'm, I'm going to do a, uh, yeah. I'll probably record it on Monday instead now. Uh, but this, uh, the SVA XR Nano. Um, so they're 18650, 21700, Juma. Uh, it's using the Amiga board. Um, it is exposed batteries, and and that's all I'm kind of going to say on it. But uh, once again, I don't do recommendations. I don't do banana stickers or or any of that stuff or whatnot. But um, of all the borrow mods I've got, uh, this rate that these rate so highly. Um, I'm, I'm actually look, I'm looking forward to doing the review and showing them off because, um, and the weird thing is, I'm actually finding I'm using the 21700 more, even though I think the 18650 is prettier, uh, but the 21700 just f is more comfortable in my hand. I mean, that's 21700 and the, 18, the 18650, it's tiny, it's tiny, but it's, they're both... And the firing button superb. I've had this in bits already. It's it's constructed really really well. Uh, so that'll be the next review on the channel. Um, 
we also have, out of which I am vaping away with just now, is, yeah, Squonk Life. Uh, this is from Dan at Snowcap Mods. Uh, this, I can't, did you know, there's somebody in chat that's going to tell me what this one's called. Is it the, oh, Volcano, Volcano, the Bob, the, the I can't remember. It's gone right out of my head. But this is his new squonker. Dan's now used to live in China, uh, but he's American. He's now, I think, is back in America. Uh, so these are designed and manufactured in the States. Um, he's done a really, really nice job on this. You can see the snow cap design through here. Um, th this, this, I just got these yesterday, uh, but I've been using the squonker since it arrived. Really, really enjoying it. Uh, that is the, excuse the dog hairs, the, the basic V2 RDA, which is, yeah, it's up there in my, I would say that's up there in my top five for squonking, the basic V2. Uh, those of you that have them will know why. Um, but I don't know what happened to those guys. Are they still going? Um, I don't actually know. I don't actually know. Uh, but Dan also sent on, he's got uh, this as well. This is his new regulated mod. Uh, remember the AV2R? Was it the AV2R? My head's up my ass right now. Uh, which was uh, a regulated squonker. Uh, it's used, I'm pretty sure it's using the SX735J, J, uh, in here. 21700, non squonker. Um, Spring loaded 510 and I've I've not really used this. I'll be honest, I've not really used this since it arrived because I've been well testing other stuff. But um the, I, I will say print quality is it's actually stellar. It is I, I'm smitten with the the squonker for some reason. I don't know why. I just really like the print quality. Uh and um and we'll get round to the regulated 21700, but for 3D printed mods, these are very, very nice. And that, that is, um, it's all I had to, I, I do have uh, an El Cigart uh, Prisma AIO that arrived. Uh, unfortunately, uh, through no fault of El Cigart or anything like that, the board failed. Uh, it's just one of those shit things that can happen. Uh, the board failed on me within a couple of hours but the mod was working fine no problems at all and then the board just failed so uh, that will hopefully be back at the tail end of the week um, if you're on Instagram or anything like that you might have seen it there um, I've got Reload Vapor USA I've got uh, an RDA coming from them and an RBA coming from them as well uh, there is also things that I can't remember right now and the microphone is way over there when it should really be over here in my face. Um, let me have a look at chat. Uh, uh, <coughs> who've got Adrian? Um, Adrian's here. Adrian keeps me right. Um, uh, the long bar on the side is a fire button. Yes, it's a single button on the SVAs with that board. Uh, Ah, Dan would never let me post mine. Snowcap squank. It's awesome. Uh, I, I mean, I've got the, the previous squonker as well. Um, and yeah, Dan's a good lad. Uh, he really is. He takes great pride in what he does. I know a lot of people um, have a downer on the 3D printed stuff and all that and whatnot. But um, given the price, I mean, I think it's was it $140. I could be wrong. It's very, very good. Uh, oh. Streamlabs bot is um, is having a go. Uh, Martin, could I ask if the flashy vapor 4.5 fits perfect on the ArcSign mod? Don't know. Don't know. I, I don't have a, a 4.5 anymore. Um, whatever, what diameters the the flashy vapor? I gave you the what diameter it would take in the video. I gave you the dimensions in that, so I can't. I actually tell you, I can't show you because I don't have the Fev uh, 4.5 anymore. I've got his baby brother, but I don't have the big one. <laughs> but, um, yeah, as I said, the uh, dimensions were in the review, so you should be able to work it out from there. Um, 
Dan rules, but he does smell. Uh, after taking it apart, <laughs> I'll have you know that in um, <laughs> it was nerve wracking. I'm not plugging here. Don't join Patreon. It sucks. I take money from you and give you very little in return. Um, aye, uh, there. But in Patreon land, when something arrives, I usually I do a rebuild, a build, and most of the time, uh, when something arrives and it's a mod, I will strip it down just to see what it's like inside. Uh, because why not? If something's got screws in it. They're, they're designed to be taken out, surely. That's my excuse. But anyway, uh, we took the SVA to bits and put it back together. And it came apart fine. It went back together with a click. And and it worked after I put it back together. So, um, yes, these are the things that happen in Patreon land. Once again, don't join it. It sucks. Um... Uh, uh, Dane, interesting, has really shown their new RBA. As far as I know, no. Uh, however, since you asked, let me just check something. They never sent me any photos as such, but I did ask them for spec. And they did send me an email today to say that it had been posted out. And... I don't know if I should be giving this out before uh, before I, uh, if it's not I'm sure they've told somebody somewhere um, it's a it's a quad post setup single coil setup uh, PCTG tank um, 3.5 mil capacity so it's going to be a big boy again uh, airflow ring on the bottom uh, effortless adjustment with a simple twist so, I don't see any mention of pins. It's a postless build deck design. Um, that's in retail prices about $75. That's all I've got for you just now. That's Or that's all I can share. Um, uh, just remember, the Patreon boxings are at 3 a.m. in America. You, do you know... Do you know how many people I know in this world that are Mexican? You. Just you. And do you know how many people constantly moan about the time up? Just, you, you, I swear to God, you're not doing anything for your fellow Mexicans. I mean, you're just, you need to stop going on about the time. Please. <laughs> are we, do you know why, do you know how hard it is? Stuff arrives at, say, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, I want to normally go onto my Patreon and do a live unboxing for my Patrons. But I don't. I used to just wait until about 12 o'clock in the day because I thought most people would be awake at this time. But then my little Mexican friend started making a noise. So then I moved it to 1 o'clock. And then he made even more noise. Now it's 2 o'clock before I do my unbox. So I've got to sit here for 5 hours with a shiny toy in a box, not look at it, just because I have one Mexican friend, it's just infuriating. <laughs> it's not really. <laughs> we exactly, Paul. We have to wait for one man. One man. Um, I, Dan, I don't know if the. Um, I don't know. I mean, they're saying that it comes in a PCTG tank, which I, I'm, I'm, I don't know the f if it will be able to be used in you know normal borrow tanks. I hope so. I really hope so. Uh, could you tell me dimensions of five ten? I did. I gave the. I gave the. I did. I purposely said that I would only. What? The things I do for a quiet life. The things I do for a quiet life. See if I go back and watch that video and find out that I said something about the dimensions and what size a tank would fit in it. I, I don't know where you live. I don't know where in the world you are, but I'm getting on a plane. Um, let's find a... What can we find? Let's find... 
What is the fev? Can anybody remember what the fev is off the top of their head? Right. I did. I know I said... I might not have. I might have actually cut it out by mistake. But anyway, right. Uh, I, did, I, did, I did review it. I reviewed the the old ammo. Maybe they're just sending it again. Yeah, possibly, right. Uh, that's the Cabello. The Cabello is 24 millimetres in diameter. I did. I mentioned this in the bloody review. I know I did. Um, and I make, because I remember talking about how I would probably just go 22, 23. Um, but there's a 24. See how it's got the overhang? But you do have, so you will get a 24 on there. So there we are. Um, Fev is 23. So a 23 is going to go on no problem at all. Um, well, that's me clicking on buttons. There's people in chat being very helpful, which makes me look like a grumpy old man. Because I'm not being... I am being helpful. I am. I, I saw that he posted the photos of them in black in the Facebook group. Uh, I'm not sure if I like the black. I don't think the Cerakoting looked kind of... didn't look that great. Um, whereas I really like my Posh Pico. Um, right. Um, uh, to, uh, did he post a link? Uh, I'm sure the five will fit in. Actually, it's only 22 mil. Yep. Um, when's the whole vape? Uh, people covered that. Uh, Chris, how you doing, sir? I hear you binging away in the background. Um, Hall of Ape, yes, I shall be at the Hall of Ape. Hopefully I shall see you there. Uh, please, if you do see me there, don't worry about the fact that I'm slightly taller than I look here, but I am twice the width that I look here, which is quite frightening. But please, come and say hello. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy folk, is your mic inside your mouth suddenly? I'm sorry, have you got headphones on? <sighs> My herring munching friend. Um, what else have we got? Chat, you'll never admit, but it's the skyline. Uh, are you losing weight? See? Love you. Absolutely love you. And uh, Matthew, that was not a pico. Um... <laughs> The recent hob is my birthday weekend. Outstanding. Um, that's great. I saw a review only with Hassar. Thank you so much for your time. Martin, you're very welcome. Next time you ask me a question, I promise I will not make such a song and dance about... No, I will. I will. I'll complain bitterly about having to do anything. Um, what's my favourite RTA? Never tell you. I don't have a favourite RTA. I don't, as I said before, and I've said many times in the past, my humble apologies if you've never heard me moan about this before, but I, the things I keep are not based on what vapes the best. It's not, because quite simply, most RTAs vape the same. They have done since 2016. Whether you agree with that or not is entirely down to you, but I'll argue the toss about that all day long. Um, they're very, very similar. Um, so, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 10, 14. I have 15 RTAs now. That's that's it. And 15 RTAs. Um, and I couldn't tell you which one's my favourite. I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Um there's yeah I love them all for different reasons mostly because of who made who made them uh, I have a relationship with the person that made them um, sometimes I don't uh, and sometimes I just like them because I think they're well made um, so uh, Breeze Tones is after a mod in his birthday uh, go chill before your wife comes out with a frying pan. Um, 
Chris Bishop's in with the insults already. Uh, if, if I have a moderator in there or a spanner, could you do me a favour and just time out Chris Bishop for as long as you want? Just just time him right out, yeah. Uh, did you see the news today? It was a ginger man spotting a canoe going <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> two hours and zero skylines. You have two hours, um, and waterproof trousers. I hope. Um, Neil, hello. Uh, some RTAs have better O rings than others. <laughs> Don't be saying that. You'll get me into trouble. I'm run. I'm running out of Americans to offend these days. That was a joke, by the way. That was just a little joke. Um, and uh, I asked under your review in the arc sign a week ago, but not answer. I did answer. See, we are going to fall. We are going to fall. I did answer in the, under the review. <laughs> Bloody well did. You'd see, you've got me on. You've got me on that wheel now. You've you've got me on there. Um, let's 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 let. I, I, I've got a point. I've got a point to prove here. Uh, don't don't need to listen to it. You can. Um, oh, lots of people commented on this. Uh, sort by news first, maybe. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ah, what the hell? It's a flash of your but Do you know why I didn't answer it? Because I gave you the dimensions in the review. That's why I didn't answer it. I'm just making excuses now to hide my embarrassment. Um, as far as I... Uh, I'm sorry. I humbly apologise. I hate eating humble pie and saying that I'm actually wrong, but there we go. Um, are you getting the centenary stuff? Yes, I've got some of the stuff. The problem is, is that I don't actually have the diplomat anymore. Um, I don't know if he's announced what he's doing next, but that's why I'm keeping all the top caps, drip tips, and different bells and so on. Um, anyway, that's that, that's why I've got all that there. Oh, breathe you the same. <laughs> I wonder, because I said to Roberto, there's no point in sending any of the gear on because I don't have the Diplomat anymore. It's not that I didn't like it, it's just that I choose not to vape mouth to lung in my own time. Um, anyway, it's now 20 minutes past 8. I'm going to stop here, I'm going to go. I, I humble, humbly apologise. How come you don't say anything about Canadians? Canadians are wonderful people. I recommend that you all go out and introduce yourself to a Canadian and enrich your life. Maybe not marry them and stay with them for over 30 years because they can wear on you a little bit, but uh, I would wholeheartedly recommend her and go and meet in one. I know she'll never watch this video, not in a million years, so I can get away with saying that. Um, yeah, I've got to go. I've been here for half an hour. I'm going to get my arse kicked. Uh, go watch, um, what's the name of the show again? Saturday Night Vape Show, is it? Is it Saturday Night Vape Show? Bollocks, that's going to eat at me now. Um, Saturday Vape Show? Is it Saturday Vape? I don't know. I can't keep up. The Saturday Show Live, it's called. Um, they're just about to start now. They're starting now. So um, thank you very much. There will be reviews early next week. I apologise for the 
break in between them just now but it's been kind of dry but uh, that's just the way the cookie crumbles enjoy the rest of your weekend thank you so 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 much for watching i'm terribly aff sorry if i offended you in any shape or form but um it's all part